I want to give a quick run through of my setup here. I've got a Windows 8.1 machine. If we go into the control panel or the properties for the network, I've got one disabled motherboard NIC and then I've got an Intel Gigabit CT adapter. I've also got a Cisco. That would be the SG200 switch. 8 port switch, 7 and 8 are in the lag. Port 1 is going back to the PAL server. And then I've got the PC itself with the CT NIC and right now I've got the wire world cable in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some ping results. We do a continuous ping with dash T. We're going to let that go. We're going to bring this over. And what we're going to do is we are going to swap out our network cable while we do this. Now we'll have a break in communication, and that's fine because it will pick back up. There we go. And we can see that we still have really good ping response times. Uh, there's just not really any difference between this, you know, given 12 at $330 or 315 feet at 90 So I still got the 315 foot cable in, and we're going to go over to our music library on the remote machine. Go to Eric Johnson here. I have a 24192 album in this and I'm going to right click and copy Highlanderns and we are going to paste right to the desktop. And there we go. And then I'm going to pull this cable and put the wired world in. And we're going to perform the same test real quick. And one more time. So as you can see, the, the speed's the same. Uh, our ping rates are the same. The speed's the same. And that's all good. So we still got the 315 footer in here. So now we're going to go into Media Player, J River that is. Um, J River is set up for Wasapi. So we're using Microsoft's native stack. We've got pre buffering at 10 seconds. That's fine. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and save, even though we didn't make any changes. And we'll just go ahead and play the intro track. All right, so the buffer's already filled up at this point, since we're only talking a 10-second buffer. So here, I'm just going to yank this. Put in the wired world. And we haven't interrupted our playback. So the question is, is, is our audio now improved since the wired world's in? Is it even better now that we have no network connection and... Is it now worse since I went with the 315 foot, just straight off the spool, generic Cat 5E? So that's really what we got to answer for ourselves is what's actually going on in these mixed uh, signal systems that everybody likes to keep talking about. And are you playing off the Ethernet cable or are you playing off the wire? So the next question has got to be why is my computer system? with a $12 network adapter impervious to this change in tone or character or sound stage or anything else whereas some of these you know um, uh, micro rendu or um, these uh, 
Aries or some of these other type of really high-end streamers conceivably have these changes in tonality. So um, there's really maybe two answers for that. Maybe they're just not that well designed or maybe nothing's actually going on. So that's um, that's how I wanted to present this. We can do some additional testing. Uh, one is I can take a track and feed it into my ADC. And then while that track's playing, I can perform multiple cable swaps. I can post that track and people can, you know, basically do a carnival game out of it and guess the point in time and how many times that a cable was swapped out with that track. Um, other things we can do is more instrumented measurement. We could do right mark, which I plan on doing, uh, and just measuring some of those uh, built-in uh, measurements that it provides. We could hook up a measurement microphone and maybe get some spectral or some CSD plots, um, frequency plots, stuff like that. So that's where I'm going at with this. But, you know, right now, honestly, I just think this whole high-end audio file Ethernet is just, it's just bullshit.